Hi, it's Peter Konechny here from Medievalist.net, and we're here with Kelly DeVries from the Loyola College in Maryland. Um, Soon to be Loyola University in Maryland. Oh, congratulations. Well, I don't know what it is. It hasn't changed, just the name. Uh, they, uh, and we're here at the International Congress on, on Medieval Studies, and uh, Kelly is uh, famous here at the Congress. So Infamous. How many times have you been at this place? Every year since 1991, um, except for one, when my son was born on May 4th, 22 years ago. So I had to miss that one. Um, I did tell my wife that she was in the hospital, the kid had come, and I could nip on to Kalamazoo, but <laughs> I, uh, I didn't get a chance today here. But every other year I've been here, so. They, uh, how do you think like, the Congress has kind of changed like, since you've uh, arrived? Well, there are people who are older. There are people who are older than I am, and they can actually probably tell you a lot more. When I came, there were the three valley buildings, and we had sessions in these little tiny rooms. I remember the first military history session that we had. We, um, Michael Powick and Bernie Bacharach organized it, and it was, in, it, it was in one of the side rooms. And we were actually next to a Spanish mysticism room uh, that had about four people in and they were doing Spanish mysticism. We had about 50 in a room that could hold maybe 20 at best. And uh, following that, they started putting us in bigger rooms. I came all through graduate school, met some of the really good uh, military historians. John Beeler uh, was here. I remember Stephen Runciman being here one year. That was superb. Um, so, well, just keep they, coming. Yeah, they just keep coming. They, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, they now uh, they, uh, you, know, you organize the sessions for De Re Militari. You organize other sessions. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you hear lots of papers. What makes a good paper for people who are coming here for the first time? You know, how what should they be doing? got about 20 minutes yeah. to talk. Kalamazoo is actually a very generous conference, and I've always suggested to graduate students, even undergraduate students, that they present their first paper at Kalamazoo because it is so generous. Uh, you generally will not get, uh, you'll not get big criticisms. You might get some help. Uh, the first paper I gave, I made two or three big mistakes. I later published the paper, so I, can't, I guess it can't have been that bad, but uh, I made two huge mistakes that somebody came up very gently afterwards and told me that I had missed it. A, a, a person that I'd gotten the entire Lady Godiva wrong. There's evidently two of them. I had no idea. Uh, it's a graduate student. So it was nice, and they didn't do it in a, in a, a way where I would be embarrassed. In fact, it, it helped me out later on. Um, on the other hand, there have been one or two. I remember there was one that uh, uh, somebody kept uh, commenting on, on the paper and, and asking a question and said, well, you know, if. Uh, if so-and-so was here, then they would say this. If so-and-so was here, then they would say this. And it happened that the person she was referring to was sitting next door. And she never looked at the badge or anything. And she, the, the woman finally stood up and said, uh, so-and-so is here. And she doesn't believe anything uh, about what was just said in her name. And that was kind of an embarrassing moment. But it's times like that that are rare enough that you just kind of remember them. There, are there any uh, bad papers that you remember? that? Oh, uh, there's draft papers. I've probably given some of them, and uh, people have been nice enough that they haven't referred to them. Um, there are uh, there are several papers I think that probably are best not given. Um, there is the one the one paper I remember that an organization a session I'd organized where there were about six sessions, and um, I'd organized, and uh, the gentleman got up and took a while to get to the desk, and then said. I, I was always interested in this subject, but I did nothing on it. And then sat down <laughs> to the stunned disbelief of all of us, and at the same time the stunned relief that we didn't have to deal with what was probably a very inconsequential uh, paper based on the fact that he hadn't been able to do any research. I've always thought he was incredibly brave to do that, but at the same time it was very embarrassing to him. He's never given another paper, so maybe that was the... That was the end of it. Uh, but I, if we could have had cartoon faces, I think our mouths would have dropped onto the, onto the table. There was about uh, 60 people in the session. Not one of us believed that, that this would be the result. His title was actually longer than his, his paper was when it came down to it. Oh. Well, I heard today uh, that one, uh, someone was saying that people don't go to, uh, shouldn't go to Kalamazoo to see a session. So what else is there at this Congress? Why should people come here? Well, I, 
I mean, I think I think that there are good papers, and you do hear a lot, and there are great discussions. Probably the great, the best thing is when when maybe there's only two papers or maybe three papers, and people sit down afterwards, and they hash out some ideas. So for scholarship, it is really a good place. But let's face it, um, Kalamazoo pretty well. It, I used to refer to it as the Kmart of medieval conferences. I think probably the Walmart of medieval conferences nowadays. Uh, there are so many people here, and that's the reason. That's why you come is to meet people. To uh, if you're a graduate student, you get to know people you've read. Um, you find out that they're human. Uh, you may find out that your ideas are as good as theirs. It can be a real confidence builder at the same time. For those of us who are a little older than the teeth, we can network. Uh, continue to network. Uh, you know, uh, academics being what it is, we just don't have a lot of opportunity of actually getting together with people. And here we can do it, and uh, everybody's here for whatever reason, and you can reacquaint yourself with old friends and maybe even old enemies. Well, on that note, thank you very much, Kelly. <laughs>